Hi folks, Matt Easton here. So, I have done a lot of videos in the last, particularly in the last couple of months, where I have addressed certain types of sword, and I have expressed an opinion that the rapier is a very good sword for fighting one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, this should come as no surprise, actually, to anybody who knows anything about history or weapons, because, of course, the rapier was the sword that essentially evolved for that type of fight, for a one-on-one -on -one fight, generally in a civilian situation, uh, no armour involved, so on and so forth, okay? It's, the, it's the, one of the obvious swords uh, that is able to fight against other swords. Uh, it, uh, rapier can deal with two-handed sword, it can deal with small sword, it can deal with broadswords, backswords, sabres, falchions and so on. Um, and, uh, but it is specialised to fighting in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Okay? It's generally speaking not a great battlefield weapon, but very good as a duelling weapon. Okay? Some people came back and said, what about the small sword? The small sword surely is even more evolved for, for the one-on-one -on -one fight. The problem with the small sword is that the small sword is really, generally speaking, I know some, some period authors disagree on this, um, but generally speaking, the small sword is only really designed to face another small sword. So the reason why I, um, I particularly kind of uh, um, vote for the for the rapier when we're talking about kind of ultimate swords for a one-on-one -on -one fight um, is because if we don't know what the opponent's got, say the opponent's got a long sword, a rapier can and does in sparring these days in HEMA competitions and HEMA events and uh, sparring within clubs. Can, the rapier can deal with a longsword. The rapier can just about deal with a two-handed sword. It can fight against sword and buckler, it can fight against basket-hilted, broadsword, and so on and so forth. The small sword, on the other hand, the small sword is excellent in a dueling situation against another small sword. It's okay against a rapier, although I have to say that from what I've seen judging tournaments, taking part in tournaments, um, and watching tournaments, Generally speaking, the small sword struggles a bit against rapiers because of its lack of reach. Most small swords only have about a 30-inch blade. Most rapiers have about a 40-inch blade, so it's a huge reach uh, disadvantage the small sword has. Equally, uh, the rapier has more mass as well, so the, so the small sword, although it's very quick, has a reach disadvantage and it, it's a, it can be a bit flimsy in its, in its defences against a rapier because a rapier has more mass to it as well. Uh, and in fact, the hilt of a small sword is quite small and minimal and doesn't really cover that much of the hand and forearm very well, whereas uh, rapier hilts are big and, and, and protect through their line, they protect quite a bit of the forearm and they've got long cross guards in general and so on and so forth. So the, the rapier is, uh, generally speaking I would say the rapier has an advantage over the small sword. Equally the rapier is able to fight against lots of other types of sword, whereas a small sword is not very good at that. A small sword can, there are tactics you can use to effectively use a small sword against a saber or a back sword or something like this, or indeed against a rapier. But a small sword against a long sword, uh, good luck. Um, I'm not really sure what I would advise someone to do with a small sword if they were fighting someone with a long sword. It's, it, it's not very good at dealing with a wide range of opposing weapons like the rapier is. So, that's why I vote for the rapier over the small sword. The final thing I want to mention is, some people, in fact quite a lot of people, have accused me of being some kind of rabid rapier lover. First of all, I do not study rapier. Secondly, I don't teach rapier or even practice rapier. I occasionally pick up a rapier and spar with a rapier. I occasionally fight against rapierists. Okay, my we my personal weapons of focus are number one the saber, number two the longsword. Okay, so for medieval period I focus on longsword. For later period I focus on saber. And when I say saber, that can kind of apply to um, Highland broadsword and backsword as well because the methods are somewhat related and somewhat similar. Saber essentially evolved out of 18th century backsword, which itself evolved out of 17th century broadsword and backsword, and so on. Okay, so I am not in any way a rapierist or rabidly favouring the rapier in any other way other than based on experience and observation. Okay, so I run, I run a big event, I run a, a fairly um, successful club, 
I've sparred against lots of people, I've competed against lots of people, and my experience is that the rapier is a very, very good sword for the one-on-one -on -one fight. And I don't think I'm biased in that because I'm not a rapierist, okay? In actual fact, I spend quite a lot of time practicing my sabre slash backsword trying to oppose the rapier. So I'm more interested in beating the rapier rather than bigging up the rapier. Okay? So I hope that sets a few things straight and uh, I'm sure I'll talk a lot, about, a lot more about rapiers in the future. Cheers.